Hello, everyone. All right, so I got my order from Shein. So I put this order in, I believe this was, was it last week? No, I don't think it was last, it might've been last week or the week before. It was literally the same day that I finally got my refund from Temu. Yes, I finally got the refund from Temu. Um, I didn't talk about it on screen, but I did post it in the description in my last video, like my final order from Temu. So I got a call back from Temu, a supervisor called because I had requested to speak to one. And I explained what happened and he went ahead and just issued the refund just like that. And on top of that, he issued me a refund for the credit that I had on my account because that was like the price adjustment. Right. And so, yeah. So once I got all of those, um, uh, the funds sent back to my PayPal and what was great was that it went directly to my, um, my card that I had on, you know, on file with PayPal. Um, I immediately went over to, to Shein because I had been looking uh, for like earrings and I guess it was just really good timing because a lot of the stuff that I had put in my cart was on sale and then I had a coupon. So like a lot of the earrings were just less than a dollar, like 89 cents, I think even 77 cents. So I spent total and I had free shipping. I think I spent about $22 and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. So everything I got was all jewelry, but for one thing. Okay. So here's the bag. So let's go ahead and get started. No particular order. Okay. So I got, that's, this is how it came packaged. And I've got a lot of hoops. I'm into hoops lately. It's funny because last year I was more into like the drop earrings and you will notice everything that I ordered is all silver because I love silver. I can't stand wearing gold jewelry. So the first um, pair that I got are these and I like the little kind of filigree design, I guess. Um, this one, I did try these on. I literally got this like a half an hour ago um, in the mail and I was so excited, but I wanted to see before I started filming. The only thing is that this is really hard to um, unhook. Oh, God, it's hard. See, so I did try these on. And, you know, the good thing is that they'll stay on. They're not going to fall off. But putting it, taking it off is going to be hard because I'm trying to, like, pull that up. So maybe hopefully it'll start loosening just a little bit. So I got that pair. Put those there. Uh, let's see. So, like I said, I only opened up a couple of pairs before filming. So where is the, I want to have to, there it is. You're going to see a theme here. There might be, um, <laughs> some of these are going to be like moon themed or related. Okay. So, oh yeah, I was pretty excited to get this one. Okay. So it's weird that it came like that, but I guess you have the option of just wearing like this or adding that on. So let's see. Oh, good. It was on like that. Oops. And just slip it through. Nice. So we have here, let me fix this so that you can see after this video. I don't know. I'm going to see, I might take pictures of them on my ear and then add them onto the video. Okay. So I like those and the quality is actually not bad. I mean, a lot of my earrings, my hoop earrings I got from actually forever 21. And, um, because it's so hard to find silver earrings, you know, it's always gold. And I knew that they had a good, a decent selection of silver. Mostly it's all gold, but yeah, they had a decent selection. So, um, the quality is about the same. I mean, I've, I've never had any problems with forever 21 jewelry. I've got like a lot of it from, um, more than 10 years ago that's held up still hasn't turned or anything like that. And it's really cheap, you know? So yeah. So we got these here. I have a lot that are similar to this, but, um, it's actually not bad. I wanted more like, well, no, this will work. It's okay. This will work. I don't know what I was thinking. 
Okay, so this is a necklace. I didn't want to buy too many um, necklaces because I haven't really been wearing them um, that often. I really want more of like the earrings. Okay, so it is a half crescent pendant. Now let's see if this is going to be long enough because my problem is whenever it's like 16 inches and then you know you get the allowance of two inches being 18 inches um i have a short neck so sometimes it's too it's not long enough i need it to be 18 inches to um 16 inches what the heck okay there we go i thought that this wait a minute it's not moving there Okay, this will work. And I'm glad that this is actually small because on picture it looked like it was going to be huge. But this actually will work. So. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's filled. It's not hollow. Okay, so we've got some heart-shaped hoops here. Very small, oh boy. Let's hope that these are going to fit in my lobes. I do kind of have thicker lobes. Um, I have like my ears pierced uh, twice on each ear. Uh, the first piercing was done when I was, I had to be, I think I was three. Yeah, I was three and I have a very distinct memory of it because my mom and my aunt did it with a needle <laughs> and I can remember the first time that they did it, I was screaming and then I hid under the dining room table all the way in the back against the wall to get away from them when they knew that they were going to try to do the second one. So, um, yeah, but I will say that that piercing is a lot better than the piercing that I got um at claire's where they did like you know the staple gun whatever the you know that they use and this had to be god when did i get that done uh i got that done after i moved back from san francisco so it had to be very early 2000s and that hole is not as deep or not so much that it's deep it's just weird because whenever i try to put earrings on it it's uh I don't know. It's hard to describe. I just, sometimes I have a hard time trying to find the way out, the hole out. So, um, yeah. So I usually will have a stud in there and I have studs now. I have like crescent moon studs in there that I never take out. Good thing that the uh, holes never um, closed because for years, I'm talking about 15 years, like I never wore anything, you know, because it was just like always so strange. Um, the way that the hole was but yeah so now i keep those studs in there okay so then i got these you know basic hoops they're a little bit they're thicker which i like these are hollow but this is you know this will do i don't like anything that's too heavy um because like i said i have a short neck so i can't really wear like the long drop um earrings because it'll start like just grazing my shoulder so that's why I always have, I like the hoops and I'll just go with like the short drop earrings. Okay, so where is this? Okay, so this one, oh, I like this. This one had a, another like different design. Let's get up there and focus. I like that it's this way, but that's gonna be interesting. Look at that, it looks like it's a little off. Nope, there it is. Okay, so how do I take this out? Oh, okay, it's right here. Wow. Ugh. This is going to be fun trying to put them on. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to probably just put these on. Yeah, I'm going to have to practice because earrings are the last thing I put on before I leave the house, and I don't want to be like rushing when I'm trying to get to work and then I'm like trying to put these on. Okay. Actually, let's move this up. So I will have some room 
to display the other ones. Okay, we got the necklace. Am I still in focus? Yeah, okay. Or rather, in frame. So we got these. And these are very light, which is which is good. So they're they're small. Hmm. But they should work. Okay. I had to make sure when I was before I paid my cart, paid for my cart, that I didn't have doubles. Because you know how they had, tend to have the same item but different prices um, from different sellers. So, yeah, I had to go through just to be sure because I was worried that I might end up having, I might get like two pairs of the same thing by mistake. Okay, this one's easy to um, unclasp. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one here, when I opened the bag, they were actually loose because the bag right there was um, open. So these are probably the longest ones that I have. But the good thing is, is that they don't, they don't touch my shoulder. They're not grazing. They're still small enough. But um, I like this. It's kind of like a, oh, what era? 1920s, I think you would say. Yeah, kind of style. I have something similar to this. And the funny thing is that it's in gold and it was from Forever 21. And the design was a little, <laughs> a little reminiscent of Transformers. Uh, I had a patient that once told me that he loved those earrings because they reminded him of um, Optimus Prime for some reason. <laughs> he said he always called them the Optimus Prime earrings. All right. So we've got these, which is an unusual shape. So that's the reason why I picked them. So let's see if the clasp is going to be hard. Nope. And these do not feel like they're hollow. Okay. Uh, we'll save that one for last because that one is a ring. Okay. And these are not hollow either. Oh boy, I hope they're going to fit. Hold on here. Let me make, how do I, oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to open those, but that's what they look like. Let's see. Do they go up? Yeah. How am I? Oh, okay. I see. So it's, so you're supposed to just pull it. What the heck? Cause right there is the, um, thing but it's not uh oh oh there we go this one was easier okay that clicked oh, why is it not i mean if it doesn't work it's okay i got it for what 89 cents but still i like the design it's like it's stuck i'm gonna have to mess with that later on i can't get it to open Okay, so these are not hoops. They're more of like a drop. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to get it out. Okay, there we go. I need to get my readers when I film. So I can read. Oh, is there a piece there? Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. They came with the little, um, what do you call those? Hold on. Is there only one? Oh, there it is. I see it now. You know, the little thingies that go right here. I don't even know what you call them. I don't actually use them because I don't ever have a problem with the earrings falling off of my ears. So I usually just, I still save them though, because you never know. Okay, so like I told you, I did get some moon themed ones, and these were interesting. All right, this one I was excited because I was looking, when I was looking at earrings, um, I originally started looking on AliExpress, and I had seen these, but they only had them in gold and in different colors. 
Um, and I, I was just kind of pissed. And it was kind of labeled K-pop. I don't know if this is like a famous style of earrings that like some K-pop singers are wearing or whatnot. But when I looked on Shein, um, I saw these and I was like, oh, thank God that they come in silver. So I picked it up. These are so tiny. It's probably better for my other hole that has the stud in them. Let me see. Well, I don't know. We'll see when I try them on. That does fit. Okay, we'll put that there. Ooh, this is a nice one. This is another filigree one. Okay, so I did try, I think I did try these ones on before filming. And they're beautiful. I like them. Yeah, and they're, the, it's, they seem pretty solid, you know? I mean, they feel like, like earrings that I would have bought from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, to be honest. So here's another th moon themed one. It's kind of filigreed. And they have the plastic thingies already on them. What else we got? Is there anything else? Okay. So let's move the bag. And then I think this is the last pair of earrings. Oops. Came in a plastic container, which was interesting. Okay. Now this one, I did have a hard time trying to unclasp. Um, so I'm going to have to work it to kind of loosen it up just a little bit because it's too tight. I actually had a harder time trying to take them out, <laughs> take them off my ear than um, putting them on. Okay. So this one has a star and a moon. Okay. And the way that you put it, let's see if I can get it to show correctly. There we go. Oh, no. I'm trying to get it to lay so you can see the star and it's not wanting to do it. Ugh, come on. Okay, and the moon. All right, so there we go. Really pretty. Just interesting design. You know, I've never, I don't really see this kind of stuff in stores. Okay, so let me show you the non earring stuff. Oh, yeah, so here's the ring. I only got one ring, and this was a dollar twenty-five, I think. And I like it; it's really pretty. Now, I like rings that are like very vintagey, antique looking, like this. And um, I just like that it was delicate. You know, it's a. Uh, I don't think it's gonna turn. I was actually looking for moonstone rings, but this one came up, and I thought, yeah, I'll just give it a try. It's not um, expensive, but you can see that it does have some moon crescent moons on the side there. So actually get up closer. Hopefully that's in focus. So yeah, I'm going to keep that on. And then I found this, this is a stir, a wax stir for um, wax seals. So when you're melting the wax, and um, once it's getting to that point where it's melted enough and you've got different colors, you can use this to stir it. I've got like plastic, um, plastic stirs that I've been using, but you know, once I run out, I don't think I can get them anymore. So this is a, a nice option because it's metal at least, and it's easy. It'll be easier to clean than the plastic ones. So can't remember if they had other colors because so I think I would have chose a different color instead of clear. Okay. And yeah, so we need that. So here's the last thing I got and it is non-jewelry related. And yes, I got more stickers, more um, of the girl stickers. I, I'm always worried I'm going to run out. So I always order more. <laughs> it's funny because I just came across like another pack that um, I forgot that I had, like when I was fixing my RASCOG cart here next to me. So yeah, so I found these and I don't even remember where I had ordered them from, but it was probably a while back. So we've got 
these girls. I think I've actually just ordered, this was a, a repeat from some girls that I had gotten. Um, these are more, I guess you could say urban street um, style than the other girls that I typically um, get. I just wanted something just a little bit different. So they're really cute. And yeah, so now I have a backup. And I think they these were probably the most expensive thing that I got, which was probably $1.99 or something like that. So, yep. So that's my complete order from Shein. Um, I actually looked on my account, and the last time I had ordered from Shein was in 2022, believe it or not. So I'm just glad that I had, you know, that it was a seamless process. Um, for me to order and that um, it took, yeah, it took two weeks to get to me, but it took about a week for them to process probably because, you know, they're having to get the stuff from all around China um, to fulfill the order. But here, let me just zoom in a little bit more. But uh, I mean, you know, I've never had any problems ordering from Shein, but then I don't order clothes and I know people have had problems with ordering clothes. I don't, I just don't, I just don't order clothes from those online sites because I just don't know. Um, I'm somewhat in the plus size. I'm like at the beginning of the plus size. And that's the thing. It's like, you know, Asian plus size is not American plus size. And so I don't want to gamble on like what, you know, it says supposedly plus size. And then I get it. And it's like what a, a freaking US size eight or something. So I'll just stick to like, you know, crafty stuff, jewelry, um, whatever, just no clothes. But overall, I am extremely happy with all of the jewelry that I got. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you on the next video. Bye.